Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and it is officially April so that means a new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse and I am so excited because it is a coffee toffee chocolate chip cookie and you guys know I love coffee and cookies so put them together it's the perfect combination and then later on we're gonna head down to International Drive check out Megacon and then go to one of the cool restaurants down there so I figured we'd come on out do some shopping eat some cookies and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day anywho's let's go do this and it is such a beautiful day today at Disney Springs I think we're gonna head right on over to Gideon's and see how long the wait is hopefully it's a virtual queue and we're not gonna have to stand in line and uh, get ourselves the cookie of the month I'm also interested in seeing if there's anything else new for the month of April at Disney Springs But I do need to make it down to Megacon by 2 p.m. Because I'm doing a little meet and greet at the Roosevelt's booth from 2 to 4 And if we don't have enough time, like I said, I want to show you around International Drive a little bit Maybe stop into one of their cool restaurants It's a very touristy area and just give you a tour around, a look Looks like there's no virtual queue and it's just a standby line. It doesn't look too bad though. Usually I've seen the line wrapping around the building. This is probably only a 20, 30 minute wait. Here is a look at the menu for April. And on the front we have Morning Joe. Not Morning Joe, but Morning Joe. He awaits just outside the cemetery gates. And the cookie of the month, like I said, is the coffee toffee chocolate chip and then they brought back the salted caramel cold brew which is a big seller so i might just get the coffee and the cookie might do them both they have had this coffee toffee chocolate chip cookie in the past but gideon's always changes and tweaks the recipe just a little bit because they strive for greatness and i've seen them do that with past cookies and they're always making it better and better so i'm always excited and happy to come out and try them and then also the salted caramel coffee cold brew is back and that's been gone away for a while all right it's time to head on in I'm so excited. It's hot out today, too. Hi, how are you? All right, we have obtained the goods. And look at this. Oh, boy. This coffee looks... Uh, this coffee... Well, it is coffee. This cookie looks incredible. You can see the chocolate chips. You can see the toffee on there. It's a vanilla cookie and the espresso. And we're going to break into it. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, boy. Gonna have chocolate chips on my fingers here. Gonna get the straw ready. First, let's try the cookie. Wow. So good. Now we gotta grab the coffee. Wow. The cookie is so good. You can really taste the espresso in there and also the toffee itself and then the salted caramel cold brew is such a i wish they actually added this on the menu longer it was so good it's not too overpoweringly coffee it's a good uh mixture between salt and salty and sweetie salty and sweetie <laughs> and when i ordered it they're like can i get a salty so it was really fun but both of these are home runs this cookie is phenomenal especially for the people that love coffee the more I sip on the cold brew itself, I have to say this might be in the top for me. It might be in the top for cold brews. I mean, the banana uh, chocolate chip cookie is my number one cookie there. This is too, this is really good, but it's not taking the number one spot. I honestly feel like this is taking my number one spot. A lot of people don't know that the actual like artwork comes with a little backstory too. So this one is an afterlife wandering from grave to grave, weeping for those who couldn't be saved. What helps to break his solemn mood and fill his heart with gratitude when chocolate coffee and toffee taste mix with teardrops falling from his face. And that's what you get with this cookie. <laughs> teardrops. <laughs> All right, well, things didn't go according to plan, and now we need to rush down to International Drive. <laughs> I'm always late for things, and I don't want to be late for 2 o'clock, so we're going to leave now and make our way down there. It's 12.51, and it takes me about 30 minutes to get there, so i got to rush. 
I'm sorry guys, usually I do like spending more time at Disney Springs, so we're definitely gonna have to come back once I have more time, but right now I gotta kinda get going. <laughs> I always press into the last minute. On my way out, I wanted to point out to you that the old Chappelle hat shop, well, the little booth here is gone, and now it is a pop gallery. And it's kind of funny because the artist who does all the artwork for Gideon's, Terribly Odd, actually has some special prints in here that you can buy. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? I've seen a lot of his stuff before at the uh, Festival of the Arts, and it's cool now that you can buy it here at Disney Springs. That looks like Wednesday Adams, actually. I like all of these. They're actually really awesome. I think he goes by two names. I think he's Mr. Eyes and Terribly Odd, and I love his artwork. Like, I'm a big fan, if you couldn't tell. So it's cool that he has his own little stand here now. Well, it's not his own little, it's a part of a pop gallery, you know? The good old Orange Garage. I always park in Orange Garage. I never park in Lime. You know, I just feel like Orange Garage is the OG. Huh? Get it? I ran into some friends celebrating their honeymoon. Congratulations. I hope you guys have a wonderful Disney Springs kind of day. <laughs> Bye. Oh my lord, I forgot the pup cakes. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Thanks to my friends, the Ark Adventures, they gave me a little fancy lanyard for my uh, Megacon credentials. And just like that, we have made it to the Orange County Convention Center, Megacon. Today is Saturday, which is the busiest day at Megacon. There's not a lot of people outside, but probably once we get in, there's going to be a lot of people. It's going to be basically like happily ever after opening night exit. Like, <laughs> that's how many people are going to be in there. I'm just going to make my way right down to the Roosevelt's booth, and then after, we'll probably hang around a little bit. I'll show you something. I'll show you a couple of things, and then we'll head on out and explore around International Drive. In fact, I heard that there is 150,000 people here today. 150,000 people in one little convention center. Well, it's not little. It's actually a very big convention center. I have never done a formal meet and greet before. Like I've never told someone an exact time and a place where I was gonna be. So I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. I hope I get to meet a lot of cool people and we get to talk a lot and uh, just kind of share stories. And like I said, we're just gonna go, go with the flow of things. And here it is, MegaCon Orlando. Holy moly, there is a lot of people here today. Lots and lots of people. Oh, and there's the Roosevelt's booth over there. I can see it. a couple of people be like a couple of people showing up but I did not expect this many people to be here and honestly I'm a little emotional about it I'm a little I, it really is a, like amazing and it's so awesome to be able to say hi to everyone I'm in the back right now I'm actually in the booth and I'm gonna go head back out now but it's it's really really something else I thank you Thank you everyone that actually came out and now I'll definitely maybe do this again. Maybe we'll make it a thing. Maybe we'll be able to set a certain time and a place and that way I can say hi to everybody. By the way, if you've ever wanted to see what was uh, inside one of the boots, this is it. Look at that. Let me get to go right back outside. Got a little door here. <laughs> 
Sorry, Rachel. Nate, I say hi. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Some friends drop by the booth. Hello, Whoa. Friends. Hello friends. I love that. Yeah. Chris the girl and Tampa J. What's up? It's been a while. Yeah. Um, it's so cool to see you at Vancouver, bro. I know. Yeah. It's great. I missed you guys. I missed you. I miss hanging out. I know. You're so, you're so busy. We're so busy. We're always like running past each other. We need to be busy but together. We're always, yes. Yeah. We should be yeah, together. There you go. One of these days, let's get together. Let's go to Lakeland and go to the first Red Lobster. Oh, okay. Well, that was incredible. Thank you again for everyone that came out that I was able to say hi to. Truly amazing, and I love it so much. I really never thought I'd be able to have that many people wanting to see me or meet me. It really is such a humbling experience, and I'm so grateful for everyone, and thank you again. Now, I don't know, I guess, I guess uh, we'll explore around a little bit. Whenever I come to any of these like comic cons, I always find a lot of like childhood toys that make me just fall back in time and feel nostalgic, but nothing has ever made me feel more like a kid than seeing my pet monster up there. Look at that. I was absolutely in love with my pet monster when I was a kid. $850 for it, mint unused. I remember the handcuffs, they break apart, Wow, $850. I feel like I can probably find a better, like a cheaper price. But right now, it just makes me feel happy looking at it. So like, I can only imagine what it would be like if I got to like hold it. Look at that. $850 is a lot for My Pet Monster. But let me know in the comments if you guys had a My Pet Monster when you were growing up. They were the best. Me and my brother loved playing with those. So I would love to get one. I'm not going to pay you $54. i am going to look on eBay. And it is so busy in here. Holy moly. Let me show you what it's like walking through this little, like, narrow corridor. As you can see, it is a little bit busy here today. I think I'm gonna make my way out and go explore around International Drive and get ready for uh, Top Golf a little bit later on tonight. But the whole meet and greet went by so fast and it was there for two hours, it was gone, like just like that. And <laughs> now I'm like, whoa, it's, it's still a beautiful day out. Now that we've left the convention center, I made my way down International Drive to the Walt Disney World store. They actually built this a while back and I never came out and checked it out. It's right across the street from the Icon Park. And then they have a Muya, a Muya. I've never even heard of a Muya, but I'm kind of excited to actually go in the Walt Disney World store. Look at it. I actually like the way it says that, the Walt Disney World store. But I do miss the Disney store. I honestly don't even know what they sell in the Walt Disney World store other than tickets, but I think we're gonna find out. And this is it, the Walt Disney World store. It's a little bit small. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I like how they have all the different sayings on here. The most magical place on earth up there. The whole store kind of reminds me of the 50th and I'm kind of wondering if they built this. I know they built it during the 50th, but did they build it for the 50th? Obviously the 50th anniversary is over now and if you do see any merchandise don't buy it because it's probably going to be going on sale or going to the character warehouse very shortly. They have a Disney ticket center in here and then a little virtual Disney vacation club place like a little like kind of virtual reality and I think I'm going to go do the virtual reality. It looks fun. I wouldn't mind exploring the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. <laughs> look at this. Is this supposed to make it look like we were there? A one bedroom villa, please show me. Oh wow, look at this. We're in the Grand Floridian, la di da. Oh wow, you can actually walk through. Out on the balcony. Ah, this is a nice balcony. I like it. You can explore around a little bit. Look. This is kind of this is kind of tripping me out. I'm gonna go back inside. Oh, let's go into the bedroom. This is actually really kind of cool. Look at this. 
trying to put a strain on my eyes. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Oh well, look, I'm actually, now I'm in the projection. I'm in the one bedroom villa. I'm not the biggest fan of the Walt Disney World store. In fact, it was kind of a waste to come down here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's I mean it's just like a ticket store, so I guess you can buy this stuff while you're, like if you're staying on International Drive. But I'd much rather just go to Disney Springs. I mean, they really didn't have much in there. And you guys might recognize this big gigantic building as you're driving on I-4. You'll see it all lit up like Disney has a gigantic like neon billboard. And this is what's there, just what I showed you in there. And I wanted to go to Muya because I've never heard of it. But I don't think they're open yet. I've never even heard of a Muya. Is this something good? It seems pretty dark in there. Can't see anything. Oh, they're definitely closed. That was my plan, and I guess it really didn't work out as uh, I thought it would. So I think we need to get something to eat somewhere else. Or like I said, just wait for Top Golf. But I'm kind of hungry now. I figured we would just hop in the car and then drive down a little bit and see what else there is, but the traffic is crazy here today. Since we can't get any burgers or shakes, I figured I'd bring you to my favorite restaurant on International Drive, Delmonico's Italian Steakhouse. This place is iconic. They have a couple of them up in New York, so if you're from New York, you might know about Delmonico's, but down here, I love it. It's an Italian steakhouse. It's pasta with steak. You can't go wrong with that. And when I say it's pasta with steak, I mean it's pasta with steak. Like they come out with this beautifully seared Delmonico steak and it comes with a side of penne marinara. I'll show you guys, but it is amazing here. Here is a look at the menu. I decided to dine outside. They have one of the best soups here too. This Zuppa de Stracata. I'm not even sure I'm saying it right, but it's like an Italian wedding soup, and it is phenomenal. I've actually been dreaming about this soup for a while, so I'm glad we came. And then we've got the Delmonico's Delmonico steak. Best deal in town. Huge 24 ounce certified Angus beef center cut ribeye steak from Midwestern grain fed heavy aged beef. Seasoned and perfectly seared and served with penne marinara for $37.99. Look at that. This is gonna be, I'm telling you, wait till I have done a video here in the past and it was so good. I'm telling you though, you guys are gonna love it. Sometimes days like today, I just wanna sit outside. Got a nice little water fountain over there. It's very pretty and it's nice setting. And uh, we got some bread. Here is a look at some of the other entrees that they have. They have a one pound lasagna for $23.99. The raviola tree, which I think it comes with three different sauces too. Spicy vodka sauce, marinara sauce, and then half vodka, half marinara. Then they've got the fruta de mari. Then they've got the shrimp scampi, the veal parmesan, the chicken sinatra. Gotta get the hot cherry peppers on there. See, very good food. Like honestly, I love it here. I, I, and I don't know why I haven't brought you guys out sooner. Like from the last time, I might actually want to get some of the Italian long hot peppers as well. Look at this view. Look at this bread. Let's see here. Got some bread with some butter in there. Oh, it looks like good bread. I might want to save this for my soup. I'm actually going to do that. I'm saving that for the soup. And I got an all in the palmer. My fancy. Well, I guess we can forget about eating at Top Golf. <laughs> I mean, I went all in, Delmonico or go home, 24 ounces, and wait till you see it's charred perfectly. I, I don't even have to like give them specifications. I just tell them my temp and then they cook it. Usually I gotta be like, oh, give me a little Pittsburgh, a little jar. No, no, they just do it like that here. And now my soup has arrived and just take a look at this soup. Hold on, look at this. Look at this soup. Tell me, like if you're a soup, a soup fan, that does not look like the most amazing soup you'll ever see. Oh, it is so, oh, look at that. Good blend of different veggies, meatballs, chicken, pasta, and a nice chicken broth. I don't know if I wanna get a meatball first. There we go, just a little bit like this. Good soup. This honestly might be one of the best soups I've ever had. Like, uh, if they sold this by the pint, I should ask them actually if they sell this by the pint. I would probably get a pint and bring it home with me. I really needed to look up how to say stracciatella. That's the name of the soup. Zuppa de stracciatella. 
to put this chart together. But I also think that's uh, gelato too, so I don't know. <laughs> this is not a drill. The steak has arrived and take a look at this beautiful piece of meat. <laughs> I love saying it, look at this. That is so much. This is such a huge steak. It is really the best deal in town. And then here's the pasta that it comes with. And I cannot wait. Look at this char. Look at that. That is perfect right there. Delmonico steaks are usually a very fatty steak. That's what they are. And that's why I love them so much. And we're not talking about the name Delmonico's. They have other steaks on the menu here, like filets. This right here is a Delmonico steak. And we're going to cut into it. I think I'm going to take this piece right here at the end. It's got a nice fat cap just alongside the outside there. But it is so good. Here we go. First bite. And also the best thing about this is you get pasta with it too. Look at this. Like this is your side. I love Italian steakhouses. It's two of my favorite foods. Normally I always want to get the meatballs to test them out. But... I have way too much food. That steak is huge. In fact, you know what? I know what I'm going to do with that steak. I was thinking to myself, you know who else likes steaks? Gracie likes steaks. And since I couldn't get her a pup cake, I figured I'd bring her home a nice piece of steak the size of my hand. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't eat it all. It was 24 ounces, I think. I think that's what they said. I got to look it up real quick. Yeah, 24 ounces. And uh, she's going to love this. I am completely stuffed now, but I mean, I couldn't pass that up. I love coming. If you're ever down at International Drive, look for Delmonico's, or if you're up in New York, I, like I said, I know they have a couple locations up there. It's always amazing, and the steak is like Peter Luger's level steak for me. Not like Disney steaks. This is on another level, but I love it so much, and uh, now we gotta go let Gracie out, give her a little bit of her steak, and then I think we're gonna head to Top Golf, do a little golfing. Gracie's gonna flip out when she smells this steak. Here she comes running down the steps. Ooh, look at what I got right here. Smell it. You want some? Oh yes, yes, you want You want some steak? You wanna go for a walk? Oh, look at that face. <laughs> you want some steak? Huh? Oh, okay, maybe I, she gotta get some right now. I have a little piece in here for you. Come here, I got a big piece for you. Look at this. I know. Oh. You want some? Look at her face. <laughs> okay, just a little piece here. It's a good piece. Chew, baby, chew. Oh. Okay, we'll cut it up later and add it to your meal, okay? Come on, let's go for a walk. See, it's like she doesn't even notice that I didn't bring her a pup cake today. <laughs> the steak is just good enough. You want more of that steak? Huh? You want more of that steak? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, look at that little shot. Look at that. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Don't touch that steak. Not until I get up there. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be doing Top Golf today. I really wanted to go, but by the time I got home, traffic was backed up. I went for a long walk with Gracie. I uh, kind of missed all my friends that went to Top Golf. They're already done golfing. So I think we're going to have to save that for another night. You know, just save it for maybe another day. I plan on doing stuff around Orlando. But I did want to kind of announce something and let you guys know something really awesome. And I kind of talked about it a little bit during a live stream. But it is official and it is locked in. I am going to be going to Star Wars Celebration in London. I am so excited. This is my first ever trip out of the country. I've never left the United States of America. And I am so excited for this. We're going to be doing a huge road trip. And uh, it's gonna be kind of like like I, I, like a dream come true, honestly. My, I, I've always wanted to, you know, like basically travel around the world, and uh, I, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm actually leaving the United States, and I'm so excited to share those with you, share it with you guys. Um, 
I'm sorry if I'm gonna like, have a gap of missing videos because I'm gonna be traveling and getting like, you know, comfortable with my surroundings. And I was thinking, and you know what? Also, maybe you guys can answer this too. I was trying to decide on how I wanna make videos when I go over to London. You know, should I do it kind of like just like a travel lifestyle video where I just show you like my like process of like going into London or flying or do you want like like put together clips where like I'm like topic topic pick you know what I mean topic video like like just like kind of would you rather would you rather me like document just my first time going to London or London something you know what I mean I, I'm kind of curious I don't know how I should do it I, I'm sure if I did just my process videos where I just do kind of like daily lifestyle videos um, they're not gonna be like so well put together and uh, if you guys are interested in that maybe I'll do some you know quick like lifestyle daily videos and uh, see how it goes so let me know if you're interested in that maybe I'll start doing it with my London trip where I just uh, show you guys my first time experiences in another country. I think it would be fun. Let me know in the comments, but I'm so excited and I'm gonna be at the Star Wars celebration. So just like you saw in this video, I'm gonna pick um, a couple days and time slots. So anybody that's over in London or the UK who's gonna be there wants to come say hi, I would love to meet any of you. And I am so excited. It's, it's literally gonna be a dream come true for me. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of chaotic and crazy today. Disney Springs, MegaCon, Delmonico's, the Walt Disney World store. We were kind of all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.